Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing with April. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap your hands for boxers. So if you're in a boxing gym or if you're doing any kind of MMA, this is the way to wrap your hands so that you protect your wrists and you protect your thumbs and all of the joints in your hands because they're very important and we don't want any hand injuries. So I'm gonna get right to the video. I'm gonna get my wraps from my bag. So the wraps that you wanna get are up to you. So um, these were gifted from a friend and I truly love them because I was using some other, some thicker kind of wraps that would make would make the entire sequence a little bit, you know, a little bit off. So I like these personally, they're called Sambas or Sabas, and you can get them on Amazon or anything like that, but we're gonna get started. So grab your wraps and we're gonna start by, so ideally on the wrap, there should be something that says this part down, but since this is just the name of the, of the brand, I'm gonna go ahead and use that as an indicator to put it towards the bottom so you want to keep it down like that so secure it through the thumb and then put it like that so then we can wrap around four times this is the vital part guys please wrap your wrist two to three times or even four times just to keep things just to keep things at a safer level because if you if you don't wrap them completely and if you punch and you and you go like that or you go like this it's it's not gonna be good it's gonna hurt so I'm gonna wrap around four times one two, three, four. And feel free to please slow down the video. This is what I would do um, in the very like beginning when I, when I first started boxing. And this is the way that I would learn. I would just slow down a lot of the videos that I would watch and I would just go over it again. I would practice it each time. So from here, we're gonna go towards the thumb. And the reason why you wanna get the thumb twice Personally for me, I want to make sure that my thumb is safe. We're gonna go secure like that and we're gonna go back around. Okay. We're gonna go again. We're gonna secure through the back again. Okay, now we're gonna go towards the knuckles. When you're doing your knuckles, you want to um, you want to make sure it's nice and tight. So we're gonna bring it up and keep your hands wide too. And go over it four times. One. Okay, this is starting to get tangled a little bit, so let me fix my... If you need to go ahead and fix your wraps throughout the process, please do so, because it's, it's gonna be a pain. Okay. Okay, so now we're wrapping, I said three times, four times, okay, four. And then last one, okay. We're gonna go back around through the bottom, like, th like so, like that. And then now the fun part, we're gonna go in between the fingers. So like I said, please keep them wide. Okay, let me readjust my wrap because for some reason, these get a little bit tied. Okay, so now from here, we're gonna go up again through the fingers. So we're gonna do one, keep them wide, and then close after. And you're gonna bring it around the bottom like so. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit um, not as neat as, as usual, but that's because this keeps getting tangled. Um, okay. I'm gonna go back around. And like I said, please slow down the video so that you could get a better grasp of what I'm doing here. Okay, perfect. And now, since I've wrapped a lot, um, we're gonna go back, do this nice and tight. We're gonna go back to the top, like so, so like that. Uh huh. And then we're gonna wrap. So do it tightly, because then you'll, it'll get loose. And you wanna do this. Ideally, you wanna be able to wrap this like a good three to two times. And if you have any sort of injury, any hand injuries, which in my last video, my boxers fracture video, you can go ahead and look at it. Um, it's a video and I explain a lot of exercises on how to heal your hand if you have any sort of um, knuckle injuries or any uh, metacarpal injuries. So you wanna make sure that you protect your knuckles as good as you can. So you can put a gauze, you can put another gauze on the bottom that's wrapped around your, your knuckles and it'll give extra padding. So. 
here. And then, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the flip method so that the Velcro can strap on. So I'm gonna go back here, secure it through your wrist again. And a good indicator that you've done it right, so like I said, keep practicing, and a really good, in two indicators that you did it right are you have the logo of the wrap on, on the front, or lopsided, whatever. And then you flip your hand, and this is, there's a nice little like, obtuse angle if you if you will um but yeah um i hope you guys really enjoyed that video and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up please make sure to wrap your hands please make sure to stretch out your wrists because they're as equally as important as any other um, area in your body and if you like this video please leave a comment down below of who your favorite boxer is or who um, what your favorite kind of martial art is and I will see you guys next week I hope you really enjoy your day and enjoy the beautiful things that life has to bring. Thank you